Hi guys, this is Lucas from LS21 Design. Welcome back to my channel. And in this series, we will be painting Major Dutch Schaefer from the 1987 Predator movie. This character was played original by Arnold Schwarzenegger, and yeah, it remains one of my favorite figures from the AVP universe. Okay, uh, I think that designers from Wicked did an um, amazing job with this one. Originally it was, uh, it is one 6K figure, but I printed this model at 110%, uh, so it's slightly bigger, uh, larger, I think it's, this might be about maybe one, one fifth scale. All elements here are very nice detailed, they are smooth and actually they are ready for painting right after printing and removing the supports. A lot of people complain about this shape of Arnold's uh, head sculpt. Mm, I think the lightness is here and it's represented quite uh, decently. Okay, let's face it, there are a few bugs, um, so I will try to improve this sculpt a little bit. I decide I, pr I, I printed two such heads, I will leave one intact and I will slightly modify the other one. First of all, most I don't like this hairline. Uh, in the movie, Arnold had a slightly different hairstyle. I will try to put some epoxy body over it uh, to smooth uh, this transition. Okay, maybe it's not perfect, but it's uh, definitely better, uh, yeah, in my opinion. The second thing that I really don't like here is the lack of facial hair. He has no beard, no mustache, uh, but we'll try to fix this too. The most important thing in this technique is to mask the remaining elements very well. We don't want any unpleasant uh, dust or dirt uh, over here. That's why for masking I'm gonna use liquid silicone from Abteilung uh, 502. And we cover the entire head with silicone except for the places where Major's beard is about to grow. And then we watch uh, the magic happen.
I will apply black goo from green stuff world to a larger surfaces uh, and elements secured in this way will look uh, yeah pretty much funny but it's safe secured so it's it's, it's good for the process Okay, so this is where the fun begins. Uh, we're gonna get a little bit dirty right now. Um, we're gonna use some baking soda. It have to be prepared in advance on some kind of, I don't know, maybe plastic mat or a piece of paper. It doesn't really matter. And we're gonna just uh, lightly spray the surface with a clean varnish. Preferably I would say matte or satin, but it could be also hairspray. In the next step we need to blow baking soda towards our major's head. For this task you can also use airbrush. Actually uh, we should re repeat this action like two maybe even three times and uh, after the varnish dries we gently remove the entire masking. It's also good to remember that uh, the best uh, the best tool for this purpose is uh, just simple tweezers or maybe silicone brush. So, um, I have to admit that it turned out very very nice and I am super super happy with the result. Now we will paint everything with a black primer and then we compare the both head sculpts. And now when we have the both sculpts like side by side, uh, see for yourself that the difference is significant.
okay guys i think that's it for this episode and the next week we'll apply the base color to the skin and maybe we're gonna start painting the camouflage on his military clothes so make sure you subscribe to this channel and show me some love in likes and comments so see you next week